Okay. So hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to Control. Where, uh... <laughs> Everything's going in varying degrees of terrible. I'm sorry. Candidates. Yeah, that's what we found out last episode. What's happening to your face? Oh, doesn't... It does matter, but it doesn't matter right now. Uh, if we could kill that one. Ow! Bull! Actually, yeah, I know. Really? Okay, fine. I was trying to be nice and just keep you alive, but... Oh, come on. There we go. There we go, there we go. You guys help me against whatever's coming here, please. I don't ask much, just some help. Or if you want to... Okay, that works. Not exactly what I wanted to spend your life on, but... Kind of works. Ooh, ammo refund. Neat. Assuming... Control. Is this a loading dock kind of thing? Subway? I'm sorry. We We're going back home. Are we? Of course we are. We sure about that? Started there, and it's never gone away. Uh huh. Subway though? New York City subway? I have questions. Questions upon questions. Uh, one of which is also board countermeasures. Can I collect this? Thank you. Shield efficiency. Eh. These are executive things that I'm not going to be able to do, so... Meh. Mm -mm. I guess I could do this in theory. But more importantly, perhaps, uh, I would need to go back to... Executive, it looks like, because I'm pretty sure that's where I changed things. I'm pretty sure I can change outfits on this, because we got a outfit, and I would not I just... I have a new outfit, so I want to see what it looks like. You know, it's not... Fashion is important, okay? It's not perhaps the priority right now, seeing as we're apparently going to be going back to Ordinary, which... Okay, yeah, sure. The question of how comes to mind. But... Okay. We shall see. Yeah. What's kid P7 look like? Oh, just like a... Really? This is... This is... Yeah, I'm just gonna save the world in some sweats. I think I'll go with the civilian look. Thank you. Uh, so, back over there. And... Transit corridor. Is that where I was? It looks like it was. I'm going to assume transit corridor is where I was, because there was a transit corridor before that. And if not, then... Shoot. Well. Oh well. Then we have a problem. But we will deal with the problem. Somehow. Eventually. <sighs> okay. I mean, I guess this would be the way to go. Recharge a little bit faster, please. Oh, good. There's some of those nodes around. That's upsetting. Oh, sorry. Wasn't aware you were still alive. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. That is most likely. 
Although also I don't really technically need to, but you know, that's another discussion entirely, I guess. And punch the wall. Oh, I see. Well, downstairs it is. You're gonna chase after me? Interesting. Uh, that didn't seem to work at all. But also interesting that that was an option. And it changed when I shot at it. Hmm. Curious. Very curious. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. I know, I know. I'm Maybe getting there. there's a control panel nearby. There probably is. But also... However, oh, we got some mold stuff going on here. Don't like that. All right, let's go. Oh, it won't rotate. Something's blocking it. What's blocking it? Is it you, little guy? Oh. And side note, give. Hmm. Presumably something over here, too? Ah, so it is. Really, that couldn't crush the mold, huh? I mean, I guess it is supernatural mold, so... Shouldn't be too surprised, but... Well... Oh, that uses up all my energy, I see. Not my favorite technique in that case. But, well, here we are. Alright. What are you? Federal Bureau of Control. No idea. Okay. Hmm? Oh. I saw that marker. It might be for a room on the other side of that, but... Yeah, interesting. Ah, uh, it probably is. Probably. So this is fascinating, though. How are they getting... Well, maybe the light switch cord is how they're going to get from here to ordinary. Because we're in New York City right now. Oh! Have we considered not doing that? You look different than I remember. I was hoping to never have to see that thing again. But okay. Yep. No, this is fine. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, hmm. 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 We're just gonna be talking about how it's gonna be weird to get to ordinary from here. From here. Is this a helicopter? Or like a... Are you like a seaplane? What are... What are you? I have such questions. Uh, anyway. You clearly need power. And there's my power cube. Inserting power cube. Well, okay then. Ah, there is a second. Yeah, that didn't go quite according to plan. But there was a second power cube. Which I found all on my own. Sue. Hello, power cube number three. 
Uh, is there another one? I don't. Mm. There it is. Oh. Okay. I mean, that is what I wanted, but also. Don't go surprising me like that. It is quite the thing. Accuracy boost level two, maybe? Is that what that is? I don't know. Um, I mean, instinct says go through that. Even if I probably shouldn't. No, this is the way to the ordinary AWE. Okay. It's very weird, but okay. You're going to come with me? Cool. Great. Search for the slide projector. Okay. This is going to be weird for everybody involved. I meant to dodge that. Doesn't matter what I meant to do, of course, but still. Shit. I have no power left. Oh, that is not... Yeah, that's what that was going to be. Okay. How far back did it toss me? Like, in terms of actual progress. Uh, I know in terms of space, I think it sent me all the way back to... Before all of this happened, which is just... Hmm. Actually, when did I... Oh, no. The transit corridor. Yeah. So, okay, in terms of progress, didn't set me back that far. Hmm. Question. I do want to... Huh. Give me one second to check something. Ordinary. So much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six. And the sister as well, well once we catch up with her. But the, the boy, that's so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. It's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. I... There was an incident. Yes. We 
lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's, he, he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Yeah, so uh, I didn't find any um, case files or anything particularly productive on uh, Ordinary. Also reviewed the video that was attached with Ordinary. I mean, I'll show you the just 10 seconds of it just because of, you know, if you can extract anything more from it. But it's just the same video we saw on the projector slide. So I'm not really going to stick with this for more than this amount of time. No additional content there is my issue with it. Um, so yeah, we don't actually know what happened at Ordinary besides the results. Uh, Dylan captured by... How did Jesse evade the Bureau? Actually, now I'm thinking about that. We don't know that, for one thing. Uh, we don't know what happened with... Why did she go to a psychologist? Who... I have so many questions now I'm thinking about it. How did the Bureau screw up that badly that they couldn't find Jesse. Did they screw up? Was this deliberate? Huh. But yeah, in terms of actual, like, what killed Dylan's parents, and possibly Jesse's parents as well? Because there was that moment where he's like, yeah, you might just be the feminine version of me, just split off. From another reality, maybe? I just have so many questions is the thing. So many questions, none of which I can answer at the moment. Hi, fellas. How's it going? Have you considered joining forces with me? Nope. Cool. Uh, whoops. That was the wrong button is what that was. Uh, give me something to throw. Thank you. I asked for something to throw a long time ago. It didn't give it to me. It made me very upset. That's glass. Glass is not bulletproof, by the way. Side note. In case you were unaware. Okay. Violence having been... Well, used... I was going to say resolved, but we haven't resolved the violence. We resolved our problems with violence. Like good adults. Airplane evacuation order? Oh, is this the airplane they mentioned? Because they did mention the airplane, didn't they? Let me see. Not missions. Uh, research and records. Blah, 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 blah. Evaluation order, not evacuation. The airplane in question has been brought from a private airfield located in the town of Bleh, Cincinnati. It is suspected to be connected to the Bleh, AWE, see case file Bleh, for details, and is being evaluated for altered status. The plane is currently being stored in the transit corridor in the containment sector brought here through the New York subway tunnel. Special access Bleh, for more information on tunnel Bleh, and links to urban legends centered on ghost stations, abandoned tracks, and Bleh, see file 412 the plane's black box is currently being evaluated for a hit, hit, and initial readings have been taken by a research team, though no altered status has been yet detected. Refer to file 912-8371 for full report. Cool. It would be nice if I got some of those reports at some point, but anyway. That's just me wishing I had more reports. I am unclear what this room is for, but okay. Maybe like an observation window, but also it was all black, so... What you observing, buddy? Wow. I feel bad about that, and I should. 
ordinary stage. Oh. No, no, no. You tell me about that right now. I don't care about the hiss right now. The first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were a lot of dolls. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. JF. Oh. I went to school with Neil. Some kids call him Nosebleed Neil. Likely Neil Hosenberg missing. It was mean. He had asthma. Tom. Note likely Tom Barlow missing. And his gang, Freddy. Likely Frederick Bartwell missing. Hugo. Note. No one by this name was found in public records. Bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. D.F. Dylan Faden. No one by this name was found in public records. Interesting. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation house. Huh. Ha 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 ha. Hugo didn't exist. So, are you the one from another reality, or am I? Dylan. Hmm. Curious. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating shining a light in the shadows. Unfortunately, I have to sit here and listen to this because you went for realism. What am I about to tell you? If they found out, I don't know what would happen. If who found out, brother? The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. But this uh -huh. is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. Oh. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary. Oh. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language call it. It may be 2 a.m. But we're still a family show. I, I'm sorry. It's just my brother was there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I don't know. I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Hor Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction. As predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. Good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. Curious. Very curious. Ooh, yeah. Well, mm. Read first and then go after that? I think read first and then go after that. Getting some hints about what happened in Ordinary. An AWE occurred in the town of Ordinary caused by an object of power. Slide projector ID OOP15 discovered by local children at the dump outside of town. When a specific set of slides are used in the projector, projected images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. Why did that result in the disappearance of the town's adult population? On August 30th, 2002, uh, siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, CP6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, CP7 materials, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector. See, op excuse me, case file, and Darling Presentations, bleh, for details. A team led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived at the site on September 14th. The AWE had ended, but the team found the Faden children who led them to the slide projector in the slides, which had been burned with the exception of one. They escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. How did the kid escape? In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. See interviews, bleh, and prime candidate program files. Bleh. And yeah, we don't. Interesting, there are ten. Have I missed just a ton of those? There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. 
Uh -huh. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective yep. unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, hmm. urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Or die trying. I have multiple questions there. Stage 4.8. Tell me what you got. Tell me what you got. What we got, what we got, what we got. JC and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. Most of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. Chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. They were about, just about to get us, but then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog, like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. What? The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Jesse said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Additional slide designation hand is verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranormal entity designation dog Neil. Oh. Just want to see if there's anything more in this real quick. There is a curious correlation with the yet doesn't look like though. Forces intruding upon our world. Yeah, in if you could just alternate, go a little bit faster though. I really wish this this worked. This objects, a gun, a yeah, this not working is really annoying to me. So it's like I know I've used this interface multiple times with YouTube or with Twitch or with anything else and source. just clicking on this usually works and Arrows don't work. Don't Wazd it. doesn't work. We create these You're saying nothing of value, Dr. Darling. Popular culture. Why Popular even have this as an option? I can pause it, but I don't want to... Complicated system. In action. Oh. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these... Maybe I do want this. Just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. Maybe. And mm -hmm. yet... There's something unique in Something us. about the service weapon there. In our dreams, in the conceptual reality... Ah, too low res for me to read lines. any of that. It's upsetting. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct? A reflection? A projection? We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Or die trying. Oh, okay. I don't think I could have... It might be possible to pause that with some great timing, but I cannot. Oh, well, that's not what I need. But I see what I need to do. Oh, boy. Actually, yeah, you would serve me better as a... Soldier of mine. Actually, what am I doing? There we go. Ooh, control point. So, you're just gonna die on your own, so thank you. Cleansed. Be nice if this would reassemble. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions oh. asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? 
Where's Casper? Dr. Darling, he's out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Oh. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold empty prison not even a poster on the wall mm -hmm. what is the next number in the sequence three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen what day is it today how the hell would i know it's not like you give me a calendar you find a rabbit in the woods it is breathing but not moving you cannot see any blood what do you do leave it expand on that it doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In Ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Yeah, hey, I... Hey, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need it. Oh. I assume Carl Vaughn is still alive, but also at the same time, it's like... What she was doing was clearly antagonizing him? Like, why did she just decide to keep antagonizing him? Like, what... Why would someone do that? Like, that seems so... insane to me. But, okay. Yeah. That's one of those things that they do in, like, movies and such. And just media in general. I cannot for a moment even believe. Hello, Northmore. I presume. <gasps> that reminds me, I had lore I wanted to look up really quick, but unfortunately I can't right now, so. Oh well. Hmm. Interesting. I have a lot of little details about what happened, Let's but. See what they had on ordinary. Home, our school, the woods, the dump. Uh-huh. It's a model of it, alright. Um, but yeah, let me go through these real quick before we explore what's going on down there. 1B, I'm missing three. Huh. Second side we called the meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. Must have been because of the smell, but I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting, and then when we'd come out, everything had melted around the projector. Neil was really into it. We found out he'd been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it. We thought Neil had got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. Interesting. After what happened at school to Mrs. Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw where they took the projector. Tom and his troglodytes were using the Sled Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. He, they'd been using the temple slide. We called it that, but it really was a broken concrete thing like a warehouse or a bomb shelter or something. Very dark. The not-mother lived there with her babies. Children. I, I don't know. She was feeding Tom and the others her milk. They were changing into little monsters. We called them dung monkeys. That's horrifying. Cool. Uh-huh. Oh. I didn't quite understand this, but this was actually... When they said that um, more of the kids from town had joined up, I assumed that they had meant more of the kids had joined up 
with Jesse and me, not the dung monkeys. Ah, I now have more context. Ooh, horrifying context. We went in and met Polaris. Like a star, she told us we were special. She made us special. It felt like being born or reborn. The world fading in for the first time. Familiar, but somehow different. Polaris told us how to turn off the projector. The dung monkeys and the not mother were coming straight at us. Dylan was crying. I turned it off and they were gone. It was over. I took all the slides and burned them. All of them except hand. JF Therapy Session 2010. Ooh. Interesting. Um, hmm. But I think we have to leave this for another episode. We're learning what happened at Ordinary, and I have a feeling. I have a very clean picture of exactly what happened there. Although, what I'm unclear about is if what... <clears throat> if the Not Mother is another entity... I don't think she's related to the Hiss, but maybe, but possibly not, but probably not, but maybe. We'll learn. For now, thank you all for your time. Don't the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I will see you all soon. Bye!